My name is Andrew Kale. I've been a member of the Medical Reserve Corps of Chittenden County since September of 2014. So I originally grew up in, in New York City um, and I was there for September 11th. I had the opportunity to see um, many of the rescue workers do, do amazing work. So that kind of stuck in my head. So within the MRC, there's essentially two types of volunteers. There are um, administrative volunteers and then there's clinical volunteers. So the administrative volunteers would take care of um, logistics, all of the behind the scenes stuff that, that isn't necessarily um, direct patient contact. And then there are the clinical volunteers, which are the nurses, doctors, and EMTs that would take care of the clinical aspects. So for both healthcare providers and non-healthcare providers, there's a role within the MRC. I think part of the difference in terms of the Vermont MRC is that there's a little more of the public health aspect and a little less of, of the disaster response. Um, Vermont is in an area that, that gets lots of major disasters every day, so it'd be a little hard to, to have that as a focus. Um, whereas in terms of the public health aspect, there's hopes of doing like immunization clinics and um, doing some public health teaching, so like fall preventions for, for the elderly population. So one area that I think that, that MRC could potentially help out in is when we have large snowstorms and we need to set up shelters for, for individuals who, who've lost heat in their house. Um, that's a case where if you're a non-healthcare provider MRC member, um, that administrative aspect is very helpful in terms of checking people in, in terms of setting up, setting up the shelters. Um, the other example that I, I could think of would be um, large-scale immunization clinics. So either these are being done preventatively, um, like, like flu shot clinics, or we have something like um, bird flu come in or H1N1, um, and we just need to do mass vaccinations um, of the population. And that would probably be more of a, a clinical aspect of MRC. So I think one of the misconceptions about MRC volunteering is that you need to have a healthcare background, a clinical background. Um, that, that is not the case. I, I would say that a lot of the work that is being done, the visible work may be clinical, but then there's a lot of administrative work, behind the scenes work that still needs to get done. And that's potentially where a non-clinical um, volunteer can, can play a great role. One of the great things about um, MRC volunteering is that you basically just need a desire to want to help people.